Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're going to look at how we can use the Simbri flight plan in the working title CG4. So to create a flight plan, you need to go to dispatch and go to the dispatch system, right? So then start using create flight to create a flight. Um, you can type in the, uh, the information like the airline, uh, well, in this case, uh, RBR 1000. Then choose the departing airport and the destination airport. So in this case, uh, let's use this one. And by default, it will automatically select an alternate airport. You can change the date and time if you want. And more important is the airframe, right? Which is the aircraft which we're going to use. So in this case, it's uh, CG4, which I'm not 100% sure if it's listed here. don't think it is, to be honest. Mm, yeah, here it is. C25C, citation CD4. So I'll select it. For now, I will uh, leave the client profile, cruise profile, and decent profile the same, as well as the fuel. Uh, Factor and the registration, right? The registration is registration number of the uh, aircraft. Uh, we'll leave the rest also the default HC call sign. Uh, let the cell call code also to default. Don't change anything. If you want to change the uh, climb and descent profile, you sometimes can do it here. But as you can see, the advanced aircraft, <coughs> aircraft options for this Aircraft uh, only have one option, which is this one. So we will leave it as is. Uh, same thing is for the descent uh, for for the descent profile, also two thousand. MCR LRC, we'll leave it to uh, to MCR for now. We can change the uh, scheduled flight time if we want, but that's being automatically calculated based on the departing and destination airports. As you can see, currently runway 346 from Schiphol Airport is the departing runway and the arrival runway is runway 30. Uh, taxi out and in. Those are uh, fields which are automatically calculated. Uh, there's no additional fuel in the airplane. You can do that if you want. So you can simply say, okay, hey, I want to have uh, three kilos extra of fuel in the airplane and the altitude is automatically calculated same thing is for passengers and for cargo and for the uh, Z for the Zulu Foxtrot whiskey value which is the uh, zero fuel weight so the empty fuel weight uh, captain name and the pilot ID and the pilot ID is kind of important if you're using the working title CD4 because what you would expect is you would could push in the username, but with the CG4 uh, working title add-on, you need to push in the pilot ID. So keep in mind, make a note of it. Don't use mine. Yeah, you can use it, but then you can uh, use my latest flight plans. Uh, so make a note of your own and then uh, let's say push it, push it in the uh, the MCDU, uh, which we'll do in a few minutes. So here it would, will come with the suggested route. Um, so it's fine for now. You can see there's some alternate routes being displayed here, but for now we leave it as is. As well as the other options, right? So there's an option to uh, to change the uh, alternate airports, but we leave this one selected. It's it's fine. We don't need to have another one. Um, and this is the flight we're gonna do. So we're gonna fly from uh, Amsterdam to uh, somewhere in Spain it looks like it's uh, Madrid airport so fine we will leave it at this uh, Madrid is the alternate airport <laughs> correction I thought the all Madrid was the destination airport but you can see the the dotted line here which means it's the alternate airport so the initial or the primary destination is uh, Bilbao and if Bilbao for some reason is not open or closed same of course then we will uh, need to fly to Madrid. So now we have 
pushed in or provided all the numbers, we're gonna click on generate OFP. So we say, okay, generate it. And then we need to wait. It's building the maps, creating the nav log. And within a few seconds, it has created your fly plan with all the information that we provided, uh, including the map and including the description. So if you need help with reading this paperwork, you can, there's also a nice link here, which really describes, okay, what does, what or what do all these values mean, right? So some of them are easy to recognize, flight number, the date, departing, destination, here also, departing and destination, um, aircraft type, uh, aircraft number, um, a lot of information. So you can see alternate airports, the few we need. And if we would scroll down uh, further down the document, you will see the nav log, which contains all the uh, waypoints, intersections, uh, star routes, which we are gonna visit during our flight. And then the wind information also being displayed. So a lot of useful information, uh, which we're probably gonna discuss in a future episode. Some of them, we, we discussed them already in uh, in past episodes, uh, like uh, what uh, what you can do with the weather services, etc. But that was more targeted to the A320, which has some more options uh, when looking specifically for the weather. So enough of that, enough about the flight plan, let's go to the uh, aircraft. And this is the aircraft, right? So the aircraft is uh, standing uh, on one of the ramps. So the first thing you need to do is you need to push in the uh, pilot ID. And to do that, you need to go to, let me zoom in a little bit further, go to IDX, then press next. And there you will find the mod set option. It's shown here. And here you can see I already put my uh, pilot ID in. So what you need to do is you need to push in the pilot ID. So let me do it again. 35408. And then push it here. It will show green if it's correct. But believe me, it's not 100% foolproof. Because if you enter, for example, your username, uh, then it will also accept it. So keep that in mind. Uh, so once that's been done, we're going to go back to the IDX. Uh, press the next page again. There you will find the uh, route menu. And here you find the option FPLN recall SB. Sim brief. And below that the pilot number. And you can push the button here. Then it says loading flight plan. Uh, in some cases it will ask you, hey, which uh, waypoint or which beacon do you want to select? Well, in my case I will select uh, this one. And then it will continue to load. This is kind of, kind of done pretty cool, right? It shows really, it's not that it's simply, it's there. It does simply add them one by one and checking stuff. So that's cool. So it will show you an overview, right? So the originating airport, distance, destination, uh, via which uh, intersection or uh, we're gonna fly, flight number, and what you then need to do is you need to press the execute button and the reason why you need to do it because doing that will make sure that the uh, flight plan is being loaded so if you will now go to the uh, legs you will find all the uh, waypoints being added to the flight plan of your aircraft so it's kind of cool easy option uh, if you want to of your i would say if you don't want to push in the uh, flight plan manually using the MCDU, or if you don't want to use the uh, flight plan from Flight Simulator itself, then the SimBrief integration with the working title CG4 is a really nice addition. So here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then put them down the video, or below the video, I should say. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, then consider to subscribe to my channel.
we're almost at the 200 so i'm looking for some more subscribers so ask your friends please subscribe to my channel thanks in advance